So let's consider the physical picture of what's happening between the blob as it travels towards one of our obstacles here. So it has this initial velocity vector that we're labeling with vi. It's traveling towards, in this case, the ceiling. And it's going to hit the ceiling and bounce back out. So how would that look, Joe? So if we draw that here, we'll click this bounce back off. And it has some final velocity vector v sub f. And what we're going to assume about the collision between the blob and the ceiling is that it's elastic. And what that means is that we can write for the kinetic energy of the ball and the system is that the kinetic energy before the collision is equal to the kinetic energy after the collision. So we can expand that further, and if you recall, kinetic energy is this one half m v squared. And since we're looking, since we're playing a two D game, this velocity vector has both an x component, which Joe is drawing out, and a y component. So I'll break that out over here. Oops. All right, so we have this expression and we can get rid of some of these variables by dividing by one half m on both sides. And now we just have a relationship between these velocity components before the collision and the components afterwards, which Joe just drew out there. Okay, so let's consider some example values for this velocity vector. Let's consider the blob coming in with um, component five in the x direction and five in the y direction. So that means it's going in each time step as far over as it is going up and it's coming in towards the ceiling at a 45 degree angle. So we know those initial components and we want to know what's on the right hand side here. Now we'll, what we're considering here is that the ceiling is only pushing down on the blob when it hits it. So that means that there's no force in the horizontal direction. And so that velocity component won't change. So we can say that this is also five squared. And we're left with not knowing Vyf. So we have five squared here, or five squared here. I'll write this out as 25. that's equal to Vyf squared. But because that force is applied in the y direction, the ceiling is pushing down on the blob, this y component has to have changed because of that force. So Vyf is not equal to five, but it's equal, Vyf squared is still equal to five squared. So what could Vyf be? Yes, do you have an answer? Um, it could also be equal to negative five. Yes. So negative five squared is the same as 25. And we've come, we've gotten over this uh, 
problem we had of the square being the same as before, but the actual value being different. So in general, we'll find that when the blob hits the ceiling, that Y component will flip sign. And by flipping direction, we add that negative sign there. Cool.